Real estate prices are rising quickly as folks try to cash in on possible casinos, and the stakes on South Point just went up dramatically. Now, continuing our team coverage is Channel 4's Carlos Harrison, and uh, no pun intended, but even though this is still a roll of the dice, uh, investors, large and small, want to get in on this action. Well, I'll take that pun, uh, Tony, <laughs> because basically the betting is already underway. Investors and optimists are putting their money into Miami Beach property, hoping they're about to hit it big. Sun and sand, tourists and tans. The beach is hot, all right, but now it's burning up, all thanks to casinos, or rather, the possibility of casinos and what will happen to real estate prices if casinos are okayed. There's just a buying frenzy because of it. Um, everybody's really operating on the basis that they are coming. Casinos are still far from being a sure bet, but they're already driving real estate prices skyward. It's the investor's field of dreams. If you buy it, they will come. The casinos are really one of the main elements that's missing here. We have the beach, we have the historic district, but I think casinos is going to be the final icing on the cake, and then we'll see prices really skyrocket. Mm -hmm. But it's South Point where the real gambling is going on. Here, the developers are betting that the casinos are coming in. In fact, one developer says he can only realize his dream of a thousand-room hotel if casinos are approved. Till today, I was not able to get a loan for a five-star hotel in any kind close to this neighborhood without approaching the idea of joining a joint venture with one of the mega casino chains in America. That's the only way. Well, the only way happened. Today, Kramer announced a joint venture with Mirage Resorts to build his dream hotel, but only if the voters say yes to casinos.